teacher, author, and a spirited interviewee. Okay, just say who you are and what you are. I'm a woman, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> name, name, name. <laughs> Here, speakers recalled a woman who was heavily drawn into community work and political activism. And for us, she remained a, an advisor who would always raise issues when she thought, even now, during the days when, you know, the ANC leaders were now in government, she didn't have any hesitation to point out when things needed to be done, uh, 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 things to be corrected, and she was always very you know, uh, humble in her approach. NIDA's home in Durban was a meeting place for many who were actively involved in the liberation struggle. Phyllis would be in touch with the Robben Islanders. She would be in touch with the people in exile. She would be in touch with the people underground. She would be in touch with the, all the struggle people from all over. She accrued numerous accolades, among them the Order of Latuli in silver, for outstanding contribution to human rights and the struggle against apartheid. She's survived by her daughter and siblings. Blaine Herman, SABC News, 